Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching the engineer boy. All right, in this video, we'll be just determining or drawing the SFD and BMD, which are known by shear force and bending moment diagrams of the cantilever beam having UVL, or you can say uniformly wearing load. The length of the beam that is two meter, and we got a flex support over here. The load is 10 Newton per meter at the end, okay? As you can see, we got two points, which is actually the end or free end, and the flex end, and it is just, let's say, point A, okay? So we got two points along the beam. Now, in order to determine or to draw the SFD and BMD, my annotation will be actually the down one forces, I'll take them negative, and the upward is positive, okay? And the moment is going to be clockwise, the same as positive, any clock is negative, does not matter, okay? We can also interchange them, or does not matter if you take upward as negative or downward as positive, does not matter, okay? That's your annotation. Diagram and the values will be the same, okay? So this is UVL, and now let's just go ahead to the solution, okay? So solution. Remember, in the solution, as you can see, this is a cantilever beam. So we say this is, uh, you can say, determinate structure because we can fully analyze this with equilibrium equations because we have only three unknowns, okay? You can say two unknowns, and the equilibrium equations are three, so we can fully analyze this guy with equilibrium equations, okay? So let's just do some solution. And let me just uh, do solution or calculation for SFD, okay? Shear force diagram, that is actually SFD. And I'll be just determining shear force at point B, okay? So I'm going to say shear force, okay? I'm shortly just noticing that as SF and B. Remember the shear force at the end of the beam, or you can say at the free end of a cantilever beam, that is going to be zero because there we got no force, okay, at the end. As you can see, this triangular portion, this actually represents the load, or you can say the UVL, but at the end, that is actually just a point, okay, so there we got no load. So this is actually zero Newton, okay. Now shear force, at point B, now shear force at point A, that is going to be something else, okay? Remember the shear force at point A, that is going to be actually the area of this triangular portion, okay? If I just draw this triangular portion, as you can see, this is actually the same thing as this one, the loading, and actually this element that is actually 10 newtons, okay? and the distance that is actually two meters, okay? So this is actually 10 units, you can say, okay? Now remember, the shear force at point A, you can say at the fixed end of the cantilever beam, that is going to be the area of this triangle, okay? Remember, the area of the triangle can be 10 times two divided by two, okay? This is so simple because 10 times two, that is going to be the area of this rectangle. As you can see, this is a right angle triangle, which is actually the half of a rectangle, okay? So divided by two, that is going to be actually the shear force, and that is actually 10 Newtons. But remember, this is downward, okay? My annotation downward, that is actually negative, so I'm going to say negative force and negative as well here, okay, at point A. Now I can draw the shear force diagram so easily. I can do that, okay? Let me just draw the beam again, okay? Just here. And if this is just the UVL, okay? Now this is 10 Newtons per meter. And just some uh, reference lines, okay? I'm not doing that with scale, okay? You can do it with scale to get a, you can say, accurate an accurate diagram, okay? This is, let's say, a reference beam, okay? Where we got point B and here A. The span are the length that is two meters. Now, as you can see, the force at point A, that is actually uh, 10 units, okay? So I can just draw a 10 units line, okay? Be below the uh, reference beam, okay? 
that is minus 10. Now we can just, uh, uh, you can say join the, uh, you can say this point, point A with point B is we don't have a load at point B. So we can join that with a curvature equals uh, two degree curvature and that is actually parabolic curvature, okay? So this is actually negative uh, shear force diagram. So simple, okay? Nothing complicated over here. Now let's just go ahead to the uh, bending moment diagram, okay? So let's just do it, BMD. That is shortly known by bending moment diagram, BMD. Okay, now remember at point B, I'm going to say bending moment at point B. Remember, moment that is actually something you can say the force times the distance, okay? That is bending moment. So at point B, we have zero force. As you can see, the force at point B, that is zero. And you have already noticed that we're there in the calculation of shear force. So the force that is actually zero times the distance from point B to point B, that is actually zero. So zero times zero, that actually means zero kilonewton. Okay, sorry, that's Newton meters, okay? So at point B, we have zero moment. Now at point A, being a moment, at point A, that is going to be the actually something we can say W L square by six. There are actually two methods you can do that, okay? One is to determine the area of this our triangle and then multiply that with the distance, okay? Which is actually, you can say X this time. But let me just, or do that a little bit late, okay? Let's just focus on this formula first, okay? So as you can see, the load that is 10, okay? So 10 times the distance, which is actually two, we, we will just take the overall length of the beam, okay? And that is actually square and divided by six. So you can get actually the moment at point A and that is actually negative because the force is downward and our annotation downward that is actually negative, okay? So you can just do some mathematics here. You will get minus 6.667, uh, you can say Newton meters, okay? Now let's just uh, uh, calculate this video with the same method as I just uh, introduced at the, at the medal, you can say, and that is actually the area. Okay, let me just do it over here if I can do it. Okay, that is actually the uh, binding moment at point A, and we can just take the area of this triangle, which is actually 10 times 2 divided by 2 times the distance x, and this is actually the centroid, okay, this point. The centroid of a right angle triangle can be a distance b by three, okay, from this, you can say axis, from the vertical axis, you can say. So you can just plug and check in over here, like you can just put b by three over there, okay, because we are multiplying that with the distance. So just do it, like you can say b, that is just two meters, okay, so you can just put two over there, okay, so simple, like, 10 times 2, that is actually 20, divided by 2 times B, that is 2 by 3, okay? So you just do some mathematics here and you will get 6.667 Newton meters, okay? Now let's just draw its uh, diagram, okay? I'm going to draw this over here because I don't have rooms in the same page. Let's say this is the beam, okay? And we got point, you can say B here, just here and point A, which is actually this point here. Now, as you can see at point A, we got minus 6.667, okay? So we will just draw a line uh, equals 6.667. We don't have to put minus over here, okay? If you have already just done that over there, it does not matter, but you don't have to put minus sign over here because we already know the down one below this reference beam is going to be negative and the upward is going to be just positive, okay? So 6.667, that is just the bending moment and 
at the point B that is actually zero. So we will join this but with the curvature equals three degree curvature like that, okay? This is three degree curvature, or you can say parabolic curve, okay? Now the difference between this shear force diagram is actually that is two degree parabolic curve, and in the bending moment diagram, we got three degree bending moment, you can say parabolic curve, okay? So this is how we can just uh, work out shear force and bending moment diagram for a continuous beam having UVL or uniformly varying load. See you in the next video. Like a bird on a tree.